بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حياكم الله جميعا Ladies and gentlemen we are honored to have you with us today to celebrate this unique event in Qatar's healthcare history This is the first of many international healthcare events and conferences that Sidra intends to bring to Qatar as part of its mission to share knowledge and education among healthcare professionals. This is indeed a landmark occasion and a testament to the caliber of guests we have gathered here today. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Leila Sheikhli. I'm an anchor, news anchor at Al Jazeera Television, but also a mother of three little children. And that's why perhaps my interest in this conference goes beyond my profession as a journalist and TV presenter. It gives me great pleasure to be your host for the opening ceremony of the fifth Excellence in Pediatric Conference. This conference is the flagship event for the Excellence in Pediatric Institute. Perhaps to tell you a bit more about the mission, what has been accomplished, and the challenges and the impact the Excellence in Pediatric Institute has had through working with healthcare professionals throughout the world to improve the level of healthcare, I invite you to watch this video that perhaps will put things into perspective. Let's watch. Perhaps uh, the video answers some of your questions, 
but to know more about the challenges, the expectations, perhaps, of this conference that we have from the chairman of the Excellence in Pediatrics uh, Institute himself. I would like to call Professor Dimitri Christakis. Professor. Thank you, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I have the distinct honor to welcome all of you to beautiful, sunny Doha for this, the fifth edition of the EIP Institute's annual conference, Excellence in Pediatrics. It's great to see so many of you in attendance representing so many different countries. As you know, EIP's mission is to improve children's health and health care globally, and the decision to bring our annual conference to this region was a strategic one. EIP aims to build a bridge between Asia, Europe, and the rest of the world. The Middle East is, in many ways, an ideal location for such an endeavor. The region is fast becoming a knowledge hub, connecting the world's most influential communities, offering easy access to Asia's scientific community, and serving as a crossroad between East and West. It is for this reason that we will be forming the EIP Middle East chapter, building a coalition of the leading pediatricians in the region to coordinate and continue our activities. Further details on this will be coming in the ensuing weeks. There's no doubt that the health of children must always be one of the most important priorities for societies and governments. Global financial growth and improving living standards, particularly in developing countries and emerging markets, has created demand for better access to healthcare resources and provided opportunities for higher standard of care. However, the traditional paradigm of continuing medical education is not up to this task. It is clear that a 21st century approach is needed to connect, inform, and educate the pediatricians of today. As the expectations and demands on healthcare professionals increase, we must deploy increasingly innovative approaches to help them in their day-to-day -day work. The video you just saw highlights the extraordinary growth of the Congress, which has become one of the most important pediatric meetings globally. But the increasing needs of clinicians cannot be met by an annual Congress alone. And EIP is, in fact, much more than an annual Congress. We are continuously working on the best ways to connect and educate pediatricians. Our free-to-view e-learnings, webinars, mobile applications, and our dedicated online community give pediatricians the ability to connect and to learn from each other and from our international experts 365 days a year. Our global initiatives combine large, dedicated networks of providers and delegations of key opinion leaders to focus on some of the most pressing pediatric healthcare issues of the day. Our parents' talks empower parents by enabling them to have their questions answered by global experts in an easily accessible way in the comfort of their own homes. And finally, our bursary programs bring young clinicians and scientists from the developing world together with our experts for focused workshops designed to leverage the work they do in their communities with some of the neediest children. EIP will continue to innovate and to use this region as a base to reach all of those who care for children around the globe. The next three days will showcase many leading experts in a host of lectures, interactive sessions, debates, and health policy summits that are all designed to improve clinical practice and ultimately child health care globally. I encourage you to make the most of this unique opportunity and connect with your colleagues and peers from Qatar and around the globe and to continue to use EIP throughout the upcoming year as a resource for your ever-changing needs. And finally, I would like to extend a special thanks to our host country, Qatar, that has been so hospitable. This is my fourth trip here. Uh, and in particular, to the Sidra Medical and Research Center, who are the strategic partners of this year's conference. They are putting the finishing touches on a truly world-class facility for women and children. And I encourage you to find out more about their plans over the course of the conference. EIP looks forward to continuing to work closely with Sidra alongside partners and supporters from across the region as the Middle East becomes a hub for pediatric education and best practices. Again, my most heartfelt welcome, and I look forward to meeting with you over the next few days. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Christakis. And we all look forward 
to you and your colleagues to achieve these ambitious goals that we will all benefit from. But now, to officially open the 2013 Excellence in Pediatric Conference, I would like to call Dr. William Owen, the, exec the Executive Chief Officer of SIDRA Medical and Research Center. Dr. Owen, welcome. Layla, thank you. Your Excellencies, esteemed and honored guests, meeting delegates, supporters, and sponsors. Good morning, bonjour, guten morgen, buenos dias, ahayo, buongiorno, assalamu alaikum. From a southerner, <laughs> welcome. Welcome to Excellence in Pediatrics 2013. And welcome to the magnificent city of Doha, capital of the state of Qatar. Qatar is a special nation that is inspired by a dream and is led by visionaries. And it is, it is in that context that I first want to thank Her Highness Sheikh Mosa bin Nasser, chairwoman of the Qatar Foundation. Her Highness is regrettably not able to join us this morning. Her Highness's office extends its warmest welcome to us all. In turn, I extend our gratitude to Her Highness. Her attention to meetings like ours is a remarkable attestation of her global leadership and unwavering commitment to mend an unfortunate tear in the societal fabric of the globe. The inequality in educational assets, economic opportunities, and most tragic of all, the basic human right of good health and health care for women and for children, and not just in the Middle East, but for around the globe. It has been Her Highness's ambitious and determined vision to improve the health of these two most vulnerable populations that bring us here together. So I say thank you, Your Highness, from all the great doctors, scientists, nurses, and allied health professionals who are in attendance here today. We are honored by the presence of several members of the SIDRA Board of Governors who have joined us. Her Excellency, Dr. Ghalia Altani, Dr. Mohammed Fathi Saud. Also amongst us are many of the top leaders from the Supreme Council of Health of Qatar, the nation's ultimate health authority. Our guests also include the executive leaders of many fine educational institutions and healthcare delivery organizations. Thank you all for joining us. There are approximately 1,500 international attendees with us this morning, a remarkable declaration of the global commitment to improve the health of children in every region. To many delegates and the leadership of excellence in pediatrics, thank you for selecting Qatar and Sidra Medical and Research Center as your hosts for this, your fifth annual conference. Your presence reaffirms the power and authenticity of Qatar's national vision for 2030, of the ambitions of the Qatar Foundation, and of the passion of SIDRA. The common thread for us all is to achieve greatness by nurturing the potential of individuals. And building potential begins with creating and maintaining health among our children, those here and those who are yet to be born. As I look out among the audience, I see a great blending of disciplines, of philosophies, and cultures that go beyond the traditional cliche of East meets West. Certainly this geographical intersection is true here in Qatar. Any of you who took an overnight flight and are jet lagged this morning can attest to that reality. But I see another great mixing that is occurring here today. First of all, there will be an elegant blending of science. For here, you can attend a state-of-the-art lecture on the repair of defective genes in children 
or come to better understand the social determinants of health outcomes. You can be kept apprised on in utero neurosurgical procedures to mend a damaged baby in his mother's womb, or how to encourage a reticent mother to breastfeed her infant. You can see an imaging device that will resolve biochemical pathways in the brain, or experience a pre-mixed baby formula that is palatable and affordable. And this seamless blending of seemingly disparate themes is very much like Sidra. Some of you do not know Sidra. Let me tell you what it is. Yes, it's that magnificent building that you passed arriving here today that many describe as a hospital disguised as a seven-star hotel. Yes, Sidra is an all-digital, state-of-the-art academic health center for women and children that tonight you will see lit up against the Doha skyline as three linked towers representing the three pillars in which our institution is built, education, discovery, and patient care. And yes, SIDRA is staffed by the best, the brightest, and the nicest academic health providers that earn the privilege to join us. Our blending of disparate themes, SIDRA is a technologically state-of-the-art facility, and SIDRA is a place of singular humanistic passion to achieve positive patient and family experiences from here down to here, but most importantly, in here. For as is often stated by Dr. Edward Ogata, our inaugural chief medical officer, SIDRA will be a place of high tech as well as high touch. And like you, excellence in pediatric delegates, we're on a mission of egalitarian opportunity for health and health care for children. Whether it is shown by sponsoring delegates to this meeting from less well-resourced countries or creating an intellectually safe venue for clinicians, scientists, academicians to come together and identify innovations, insights, and common aspirations with the potential to transform the care of children, we are all inspired and we are all honored by the great expectations of us. Many SIDRA team members have volunteered to help stage this conference. You will encounter many of them over the next several days. And I too personally look forward to meeting many of you. I'm confident that your time here will be informative, inspirational, and enjoyable. And that the ideas, knowledge, and friendships you gather here will travel back with you to your home countries where you live, and they will grow in your clinics, your universities, your research laboratories, and most importantly, in your lives. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to officially declare the Fifth Excellence in Pediatrics Conference is now open. Be well, be safe, and be sure to have some fun. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Owen. Thank you for sharing Sidra's vision, inspirational vision. We look forward truly to the day where Sidra will come to life, perhaps over the coming year, and will have an impact on healthcare, not only locally, but regionally and internationally. That's next year, but for now, let's focus on the next days. <laughs>